we're trying to make cocktail, we feel we're trying to create something different and new. Um, but in order to do it, you need to know the basic really well first. So I'll, I'll give one example of uh, something like pho, um, which is a very traditional Vietnamese dish. It's iconic. When people think of Vietnam, that's the first thing that comes to their mind. But pho, traditionally, you're not supposed to f*** with it, you know. Okay, I've been here for now eight years or so, okay? I'm obviously from the UK. And when I first came here, um, I understood uh, that your city here, Saigon, was changing very rapidly, okay? And there's two things that I do in my life which I combine together, okay? Well, actually, quite a few things, but the main thing is basically being cocktails and, and drawing and art, all right? So if you, those of you who know who I am or who don't actually know who I am, is that I'm more of an artist, really, these days uh, than actually a bartender, you know? Uh, but I've set up quite a few bars here in, <clears throat> in the city. Uh, I've trained quite a few bartenders uh, over those years. Uh, and I've had a, a lot to say about the, the bartending uh, in A, Saigon, uh, but really Vietnam. Um, and it's only because over the last three or four years is that the bartending here in, uh, in Vietnam has really come up to be a profession that is actually uh, probably more popular uh, as, as a profession for young uh, generation as yourself, uh, 25, around 25 year old, more than being an accountant or being a doctor, is actually being a bartender is now considered to be a career that is more popular than you know, training to be a, a, a professional in an office, for example. And I'm going to showcase six cocktails from that, that book today for you to try and then you'll understand the whole connection with the storytelling and the history of your country. In order to know your basics, you need to go back to taste and flavour.